Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I am so excited to be working on square number one of our Under the Sea crochet along. This is going to be made up of, I'm calling these water bubbles. <laughs> They're just a circle in a square crochet square. And then we are going to be making these adorable sea creature appliques that are going to go right in the middle of each each one and there will be one for every month of the year plus some bonus patterns uh, so I have all the details on repeatcrafterme.com here's a fun little clip art image of what we will be working on so we are right here January and it's square number one and it's our adorable starfish I am using red heart super saver yarn this is color carrot orange uh, I know they have a couple shades of um, oranges and and kind of some yellows and gold colors so choose what you would like for your starfish but I thought this was a really cute color and he's pretty easy to make um, I'm trying to avoid using safety eyes and noses for this project so we are going to be working on our little embroidery skills with this so you'll need a little bit of black yarn as well all right let's get right to the pattern um I will leave the link for the for our water bubbles. Uh, you can make these all at once. You're gonna need 12 of them or more if you're gonna include the bonus patterns. So um, this pattern is already posted, um, the written pattern and the video uh, tutorial. Anyway, let's grab our size H crochet hook. We have our Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Where's the end of it? Ooh, it's not that. And let's get started on our starfish, yay. Okay, all right. Nope, still still can't get that end of the yarn, huh? Where, where are we here? What did I do? No, oh, I really, okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make this happen, huh? Okay, we're gonna start by making a magic ring. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna make 10 single crochets in this ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we are going to just pull that tight. We're going to join to that first uh, single crochet and we're going to chain one and for round two we're going to make two single crochets in each stitch around so you'll have a total of 20 single crochets at the end of round two We are going to join to that first single crochet there. And for round three, very simple. We are just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So you'll have that same stitch count of 20 single crochets when we're done. And this is the easy part because right after this, we're going to be making those um, points of our star um, which actually isn't complicated either but that's really the part I wanted to work on if I can get my yarn going here I really got tangled or something all right okay end of round three I'm joining Okay, now for round four, we are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now in the second chain from hook, we're gonna make a single crochet. Then we're gonna make a half double crochet in the next three. One, two, and 
three. Then we're gonna double crochet in the last three chains. Last one, make that double crochet. So your first little leg leg point of the star, um, arms, legs, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, <laughs> this is it, okay? And so we're coming back down to our round here and we are gonna skip over one, two, three of those stitches and we're gonna join with a slip stitch to that fourth stitch there and we're gonna repeat this process again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single crochet, three half double crochets, and three double crochets. Here comes that yarn blob right back into my video. Funny how it wants to do that right when I'm trying to show you guys something. <laughs> All right, let's skip one, two, three stitches and join to that fourth stitch over. And let's just continue to repeat and you will have uh, five of these when we're done. Three half double crochets and three double crochets. Okay, one, two, three, slip stitch to that fourth. I do. I twist it. I'm missing a. Oh, that's what I did. I skipped one. Eh. I was gonna say I only have. I need to have three double crochets at the end there. There we go. Okay. One, two, three. Attach. Okay. You should have, I'm kind of holding this funny. We have four. We need one more little point to our star here. Okay. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, and join to that last uh, stitch there, which is kind of where you had started. So it's perfect, they'll be evenly spaced. So I'm just joining, okay? Just flatten this out so you guys can all see our skinny little starfish right now. <laughs> Looking so cute though. All right, so let's um, go on to round five. So we are going to be single crocheting around all of the edges, but when we get to the very tippy tops of these um, points, we're gonna be making three single crochets in those. So I'm just gonna go ahead, chain one, and start single crocheting, trying to work into the edge, all the little edges there. Just along until we get to the top. So I'm going to do three single crochets at the top. One, two, three, and I'm going to work my way back down. 
edge of this point leg star star leg <laughs> okay and then down here back into now the other side let me just pause kind of straighten this out so you can see so it's starting to take shape a little bit as you can see all right let's keep going Okay, so I'm at the top. One, two, three, and back down. Now, there isn't really a specific stitch count for this, um, which I think is okay. You're just trying to kind of add Add on to the starfish to make it look right. If you make an extra stitch, that's okay. Uh, if you miss, you know, one, that's okay too. One, two, those three single crochets at the top, it's gonna help to keep these from kind of curling up. And we still have another round after this too. And I'm making just kind of like one little single crochet in between. I'm working on the other side here. Okay, I'm at the top. something on this one two I don't know what's going on there three <laughs> okay where are we at now is this my last one yay it is okay yeah I don't know what I'm doing here let's turn it to the side at the top I'm doing very good here with these top stitches right now <laughs> there we go come on all right and then I'm just gonna let's see here did I kind of be in the last one so I already started in that little middle stitch so I'm just going to join chain one and I'm just going to pause because try and just spread this out a little bit so you can see where we're at we only have one more round and we're just going to do the exact same thing we did making those single crochets along the edges except we want when we get to the middle of those um so you had three single crochets at top when we get to that very top uh stitch we're just going to make two single crochets this time I think it'll be a little bit easier because now we've worked on those you know rough edges it was kind of hard to see where our stitches were but now we are smooth sailing as you can see just working in the previous stitches so here I'm at the top stitch one two single crochets and continue I also have a photo tutorial of this on repeatcrafterme.com if you prefer just to look at the photos oops missed the back of that stitch all right let's see two single crochets up here at the top
see where are we at here. Oh, this is the last one. Coming around the bend. All right. Of course, the yarn decided to twist up on me right now. Two single crochets up at the top and back around. And here we last stitch. I'm gonna join to that first single crochet. Do do do. Flatten this guy out. We did it. Okay. Let me get my scissors and you're going to want to leave a long tail because we're going to use that to stitch it on to our main square. Now let's make a cute little face on that. Um, I just have my ball of black yarn. It must have been the end of some kind of skein there. Okay, I'm going to grab, grab my tapestry needle over here. Hope if I took my hook out. All right. Now here is what. Oh, you know what? Shoot, I have. Let's see if I have another tapestry needle here. I forgot. Might want to weave in that end in the back. All right. It's a good idea to weave this in because we're going to be stitching those eyes and that mouth over here. Let's try and weave that in first. Okay. Here we go. So with my tapestry needle and my strand of black yarn, um, I am going to come around right where this second round is right here. And I'm gonna put the eyes right here on either side. And I'm just gonna go up from, oops, sorry, right here, up from the back. And then back down, just kind of Pressing my tapestry needle just kind of right below it into that stitch. Okay, so it should look like this. And then you're just going to do this three or four times until your eye looks like how you want your eye to look like. Kind of, what's going on here? Kind of depends on how um, thick your yarn is, I think. This one's actually pretty thick, so I know it's just Red Heart Super Saver, but this has a really nice thickness to it. So I may only need about three little strands there to get my eye. And then I'm not even going to clip my yarn off. I'm just going to go right across. Again, kind of come up from behind where you want it. It's okay. What? It's okay if it reaches over in the back. This is gonna be stitched onto our main square, so you're not gonna see the back side. And again, just come down into that stitch. Do that about, again, three or four times. More, more if you want. Okay, how cute is that? Look at her cute little star eyes. All right. Now again, I'm not gonna even clip this off or do anything like that. I'm gonna come and make that smile. So I'm gonna be working right between rounds two and three, just right here. It gives you a nice uh, little template there for you to work into. And so I'm gonna come up oh, about right here, kind of right under where the eye is. And then I'm coming a couple stitches over right in that same spot, come back down. Okay, and now I'm coming up a couple stitches over. I was in a good spot and then I lost it. And then I'm gonna come back over and connect it to the first part of my smile. Okay, and then I'm just gonna end it over here. This is about even with where I started and then come back down. Ta-da! How 
cute. Okay, we have our smiling star. Oh, sorry. I just realized the sun came through here right as I was doing that. <laughs> Maybe that helped. Let's see if I can close that real quick. Okay. <laughs> the sun came through my window as I was doing this. It's a shining star. All right. So now you can weave these in or just, um, you know, tie it really tightly in the back. Again, it really doesn't matter if the back looks messy. Do not worry about that at all. Um, and let me put this off real quick. Uh, you can secure these better if you'd like. I'm just for the sake of time here. If you want, um, you could make two of these because our next step is to stitch this onto our uh, square. So I'm gonna actually stitch one on the front and then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch one on the back side as well. So the blanket's gonna be completely reversible. Um, if you are even more talented, I bet you could stitch them on at the same time by lining them up. I don't, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm that um, adventurous right now. Uh, and uh, some of the, some of our sea creatures are going to be a little more, um, this is pretty simple design. Um, they, some of the other ones might have more detail, so it might be harder to match it up. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and take my tapestry needle and that long strand. And, you know, you, I kind of like them a little off center like that. You can stitch them on however you want. I like the idea of him being, I don't know, maybe not. I can't decide. I could do it different on each side, I guess. But um, I don't know, maybe I'll just stitch them on like this. And then you're just going to go under the edges of those single crochet stitches. And then right through your uh, water bubble crochet square. I love how I'm calling them water bubbles when they're really just... It's a simple circle and a square. All right, let's go over one, there we go. And so you're just gonna go back up and down. I probably won't do the whole thing because this could take a little bit. Um, I could do the whole thing on camera, but I just wanted to show you. I'll flip it over so you can see how that's going on the other side in a minute. So actually you can't even see some of your stitches there. It's kind of nice. They're a little bit hidden. But my suggestion would be when you stitch on uh, your second star there on the opposite side. Hold on, I'll flip it over and we'll maybe talk about that. Um, I think you should follow kind of where you stitched on this one. And without those safety eyes, you'll have nothing poking through. Um, these really make this, you know, blanket baby friendly. Okay. So you guys get the hang of it. I'm just stitching it on. I'm just gonna go all the way around, fasten off, weave in ends. Um, you really don't have that much mess on this particular one. Again, I've only done one of the little points of the star there, but when you come to your second one, I would just kind of overlay it just to hide some of those stitches. And then, you know, this, um, you know, again, kind of be careful. I mean, it's gonna be the same color on the other side, so it should be fine stitching it on. Or sometimes I do a technique, I'll show you right now. Sometimes I do a technique when I'm sewing appliques onto my crochet work where I come down, but I only go halfway into the stitches. So I come about halfway through those double crochets, so I'm not on the other side at all. See where I am? I'm not, you can't see it at all. So you could do that and then just come back up. So that's a nice way of stitching that on too. If you do not, you could use this, um, especially if you weren't gonna put anything on the back and then you would just have these cute little circle, circle pattern on the back of your uh, blanket. So lots of ways you could do this. I really want you guys to feel like 
This is your project too. You customize it the way you want. Please feel free with colors and um, you know whatever you want to do on the back side, or if you want to make all starfish, or just choose a couple of the sea creatures. Totally up to you. I'm here just to give you ideas and to walk you through the pattern if needed. Um, written pattern for this is on repeatcrafterme.com. Really hope you guys enjoy this under the sea crochet along. I'm really excited about it. Um, and I know many of you are too. So please be sure and use the hashtag under the sea cal, C-A-L on social media and tag repeat crafter me um, with all of your finished squares. And then of course at the end, and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with as well. Um, yes, and that's it. Repeatcraftforme.com for all the pattern and details.